life and I'm currently between my third and fourth year of medical school. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I made a video called five things people don't tell you before getting into medicine, which you can watch here. But today I wanted to get into one thing in particular that I mentioned in the video regarding collaboration. In medicine, there are many people you work with and one of those team members who are crucial to the team are physician assistants. One of the things I wanted to talk about today is besides having an MD behind your name, what exactly is the difference between a doctor and a physician assistant? All right, so I'm going to break down the differences into three parts. One, what the day-to-day -day looks like for each person. Two, the path that each person took to get into their line of profession and three, what their take-home pay looks like. Let's get started. Doctors and physician assistants both see patients, conduct physical exams, and make diagnoses. The difference is that for doctors, in addition to the aforementioned responsibilities, they are also able to perform surgery, prescribe medication, and take care of patients who have more complicated illnesses. On the other hand, physician assistants oversee patients who have less urgent medical illnesses and do not perform surgery, but rather work alongside the doctor. So due to the difference in the depth and scope of practice, physicians' work schedule may include longer hours and more administrative slash leadership roles. In addition, malpractice insurance cost is usually higher for doctors. For those of you interested in opening your own practice, it is important to note that doctors have the license to run their own clinic. On the other hand, physician assistants do not. But making up for that is the flexibility inherent in the physician assistant's choices and specialty. What I mean by that is because physician assistants practice is less in-depth than that of a doctor, they are able to switch between specialties. They can even work in two different specialties simultaneously without getting further certification. For physicians, once they choose a specialty, it is very arduous path to switch. The path to becoming a board certified doctor in the U.S. entails four years of university and four years of medical school and three to seven years of residency training. During university, you can major in any major you like as long as you complete the pre-med requirements, which usually consist of a host of science classes, a few basic math and statistics classes, and some social sciences courses. The entrance exam for medical school is called the Medical College Admissions Test. Now, during medical school, you will choose your specialty of interest and then go on to complete three to seven years of residency in said specialty. During your years of medical school and residency training, you will also be completing your licensing exam, which is called the United States Medical Licensing Exam. Because physicians can only practice what they are board certified in, in order for them to practice two different specialties, they would need to complete two different residency training programs for a combined program. Therefore, it is uncommon for physicians to switch between practicing two different specialties. Now, the path to become a physician assistant in the U.S requires four years of university and two years of physician assistant school. It is strongly suggested to have patient care experience prior to applying to physician assistant school. The entrance exam for physician assistant school is the graduate record exam. And once you complete the physician assistant school, you'll be required to pass the physician assistant national certifying exam. Another difference to note is that some physician assistant schools allow you to hold a part-time physician assistant job in order to enhance your educational training and also allow you to have a source of income while you are in school. 
this option is not available to students who are in medical school. Now, as for compensation, the median salary for the physician assistant in 2018 was $108,610. The median salary for a doctor in the same year was $208,000. In summary, both doctors and physician assistants see and take care of patients. The main difference lies in autonomy, scope of practice, and flexibility in the schedule. From there, the training requirements and compensation differ accordingly. If you're someone who enjoys greater independence in their work, and who likes to specialize in one part of the human body, then maybe the MD route is good for you. Now, on the other hand, if you like more flexibility in your work schedule and the ability to switch between different specialties, but seeing more common illnesses in each one, then maybe the physician assistant route is better for you. I hope this information helps you choose the best path for yourself if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more information like this coming up. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.